Era... Se hizo... Okay, um... Okay, um, hopefully this this is good right now with, with the sound, but, um, anyway. Uh, okay, this is uh, a Snow Bros 1cc, or this will be an attempt of 1cc because my, my fight stick and my PC are in full, uh, <coughs> I'm, full ri I'm full riot mode because my fight stick is lagging really hard and... <laughs> And my voice is actually really... It's actually... Uh, <clears throat> is um... It's pretty... Everything is going really bad with my PC, anyway. So I will just... I'm just ready for that, uh, for that fanfare, so let's... Let's gonna... Put all the crits I'm going to need. I'm going to need all of... All nine, so... Let's do this, so... Now. So this game, this game has a. Uh, it's pretty. It was pretty fun in, on by uh, when it came out, but it's really, 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 um, really drop uh, uh, drop heavy to say it uh, at one point. Okay, we we're good now. Um. This this game has three uh, three potions, uh, a red, a blue, and a yellow one. The red, like you just saw, it gives me speed. The yellow one uh, increases my range, and the uh, the blue one increases my power. Just to put it in some way. The thing the thing that I want the most is the the red and the blue one. The yellow can be optional, but you know it's pretty good to have too. Um, also, this game has a pretty, pretty awesome uh, system of, of, bon of bonus because if you <clears throat> if you clear your the, a floor with all the uh, with with a single combo, oh, I messed up that that was majestic. Mm. Um, if you messed up the uh, the combo, um, I mean if you messed up. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I was talking about the combo. If you mess up the combo, you will, uh... <clears throat> you will miss that, that bonus, which is basically a, a ton of bills with, uh... That falls from the... From the sky. Each one gives you, uh... 10,000 points. And, uh... When you... If, it's basically, basically, if you pick, uh... If you pick 10, uh, you, you get an extra life. So, uh... It, this is please move, dude. Can you? Ah, uh, I won't. I won't risk it. I won't risk it. This this game also has a, another bonus uh, that consists in picking a a certain drop, which is a a snow a snow bro face. Which when you pick it up, uh, some blue dudes fall from the sky, and and you have to to kill them. You have to kill them with only using the snowballs because if you kill them with hitting one of them, you won't get the bonus. Each time you you kill one of one of those guys with a with a <coughs> with a with a nice ball, um, with a snowball, sorry, um, you uh you get a character. The, ch the word you you can you can make is the snow, and each time you you form that word, uh, you get an extra life. That in in the case of a speedrun, this wouldn't uh, that wouldn't matter too much, but in this particular marathon, it's pretty important. So now we have the first boss. Each boss in, in this game are, is pretty straightforward. You just you hit just spawn enemies and and that's it. Not much to say. 
Uh, okay, I missed that. Okay, there you go. I missed that so that's psycho, but I I saved it for a for for just a second. So basically, this game has like three versions, maybe. It is the, the arcade version, the NES version, and uh, the Genesis version. Obviously, uh, the, the arcade version is the best, and uh, <laughs> well, it, yeah, I, I can say it's the best because it's it's arcade, dude, and this is the one to see marathon. So, but cur curiously enough, uh, come here. Uh, curiously enough, uh, the NES version is free. Pretty fun in, in a way. It has a ton of limitations because of NES, but uh, but still, there is something really interesting with the Genesis version, though. Um, the Genesis version has, I think, ten or twenty uh, or twenty stage, uh, twenty extra stages. So once you you kill the, what what will be the final boss in this game. The game goes on with another set of, of floors, which is, if I recall correctly, is on, only for that, for the Genesis version. Genesis Mega Drive, I, I don't, uh, that's pretty much the same. Uh, the same version at least. Um, so when you, you get to, to play another 10 levels with, with another character, However, uh, you start uh, those floors right away with uh, with the three potions, so it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much like a, a not a new game plus, but it's pretty much a, a nice advantage to to start off with with all three potions because the the game doesn't get any any easier. Well, it's not really that hard, but still, no, it's not a free game. So it's pretty much uh, it's it's worth it's worth to be honest. The version is pretty pretty good, uh, pretty good, and I miss that uh that that throw in there. That <laughs> that bounce was weird. So this other boss is pretty interesting. Uh, oh my god, I. I just felt the, the lag in my fight stick is pretty bad. So, uh... I missed that... that one, so I can't risk the... It, with this boss, you can, uh... You can hit him with the first two, uh... The first two, uh, cannons, I think they are. Cannonballs, and... But since I missed that, I, I couldn't go for, for... Oh my god, that was really close! I can really, I couldn't really go for the uh, for the hard strat. So after this, after this stage, um, pretty much the uh, the enemies just decided to that they had enough with your crap. This is the this is the bonus that I told you. So I'm gonna pick them. Oh my god, another, another! <laughs> I almost got killed there. <laughs> so. Uh, the enemies just to say that they just get enough of your crap, so they they behave they behave uh, differently now. So now the the red dudes, uh, red devils, they wait hey, another one. I want that. Okay, that's another one up. <laughs> nice. So the red devils, when when they when they see you, they will charge at you. Well, not really charge at. At a, at a really mad speed, but still, any charge in this game is pretty risky. And uh, the the green dudes, uh, they hey, nice nice six up there. Um, I don't want to risk this one neither. Not with this fight. Okay, that was really risky. And it didn't work uh, as I wanted to, so... Okay, I need to... Okay. Um... The red, the green dudes now now can fire uh, upward, uh, downwards, I mean, and... And they have another property. They... 
they can be at, at the same they can't be at the same floor that you are so if you all are in the same floor that one of those guys they will jump to the next uh, to the next platform so it's good to, to keep that in mind and the, the blue dudes well they just turn into a into a tornado and they they do the same uh, all the time no matter how in which stage you are um, what to say what else to say um well this that's pretty much the game I think uh, uh, later in the game I will oh my god this is bad I didn't turn that that dude on, on a snowball so this might be a little risky. Okay, that guy is down. Hey, no, 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 come here. Don't even, don't even think about it. Okay, saved. <laughs> if you take too much time in, in a stage, the uh, uh, I messed up that. Um, a, a pumpkin, a uh, phantom pumpkin, uh, appears and and he was and he will start to shoot you ghosts that you can kill. So it's you're pretty much dead at that. When that happens. This was just an orangey fest because of how they fly down. The uh Okay. Uh please okay I, I can shoot that so I this dude is going to receive you. Okay no okay nice I think so okay that dude is flying risky Okay Okay that was good <laughs> That was actually very good In this stage, we find yet another uh, new enemy, which are these white things, and uh, they have a they have an attack that they can throw uh, fireballs. So the fireballs here are pretty interesting because once they just seem like you play like, like your regular cannonball, but once they they touch the floor, they start flaming on, and like in every game, or maybe even I will even say it like in real life, uh, please, okay, that was the pumpkin, um, if, if a snowball is on, it's on the fire, uh, they will, they will not uh, melt right away, but they will really they will be really really hard to to make it to turn into snowball so we want to uh, to avoid them to use that attack as often as possible and the only the only way to do that is to kill them fast okay that please okay it's good this stage is pretty tricky so, okay, that was good. Hey, come here. Also, that uh, that green potion it only appears uh, I don't know when, <laughs> but when you pick it, you turn into a huge dude who who's invincible, and you can kill the enemies with just touching them. However, if you pick that uh, that green potion, you couldn't. You, you, you can take any bonus in case you, in the given case you could pick any and what else am I missing about that green thing I think I'm missing something I don't remember anyway let's keep going after this stage is going to be the the floor 39 which is maybe the worst floor in the game because you can you can get trapped in those boxes and if you get trapped in there it's pretty much a, a, a lost life in there okay that's good so, okay okay we are fine no well we're not fine okay I over I'm pressing the buttons really hard because I want I wanted to just jump to once. So yeah, this was 
this boss is really inter interesting because it brings it brings me back to the day where I, when I played this game in, in the actual arcades because when when I was playing this game with uh, with my friends we n we actually never killed this boss we uh, we always decided to to kill it by time what what does that mean well um, for some reason the game like doesn't really doesn't want to uh, maybe for just for this boss oh my god that was risky <laughs> maybe for this boss it doesn't like it that the, the game goes on and on and on so after certain cert certain time the the game automatically kills the boss and say okay next next stage please so oh my god please don't turn me like that <laughs> well this is it was, it was fun oh wow that was an early kill okay one more okay that didn't work uh, okay this will work okay last 10 <laughs> here the uh These, these are actually are the only enemies on this floor, and they are actually pretty special because they can really, instead of the first red dudes of the, of the early levels, they actually charge at you, and they are pretty tricky to uh, to turn into snowball. They they shake the snow off pre pretty fast, and the and the bats actually are pretty deceptive too. Okay. Hey, I got it. I got that one. I hope you you could you could see that. That if if you watch it that, uh, below below my screen, you will see the the snowbirds trying to fly. Okay, I didn't got that once. That's pretty fun when it happens. Oh my god, dude! He didn't pick me. Okay, I want that potion. I want it. I want. It. I want it. Okay, I got it. Uh, when you get hit by a, by a, by, a, by you, one of your own snowballs, um, you get pulled by them, and you get invincibility frames when when you are in there and when you get out. However, I thought the, I would get grabbed by by one of those snowballs, but I didn't, so I died. <laughs> Pretty sad way to die, but. It is what it is. Um, we're about to to beat the game, so hey, okay. I want those. Nice. What are these collectibles? Well, uh, to be honest, uh, all my life I thought they were like cakes or something and just a few months ago I just realized that they are sushi <laughs> so I was pretty pretty amazed like hey dude that's actually sushi oh my god all these years thinking that those are cakes like the red one I thought it was a strawberry cake or something like that a, a really weird looking one so here's the one here is the last boss So this was pretty much is is uh, this two stone statues that that spit uh, bubbles with either enemies potions or fireballs. The fireballs are different though because you can you can make them go away uh, faster. They are actually pretty deceptive too. You can get trapped in one of those bubbles actually, and um, if you get trapped in those, you need to to get out of them with either uh, well, it's pretty much mashing because if you don't if you don't get out of them, you that will happen. You okay? This is bad. Okay, 
That was uh, a little, a little risky. <laughs> what will happen is that you will get a. Uh... Hey, don't do that! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Okay, please, I I wanna once you see this. Not in this marathon, please. Don't. Play. The thing with the uh, with the bubbles is that if you if you hit uh, one of them with uh, with a snowball, they actually work as a as a wall. So so the snowball will will bounce off from from the bubbles. Uh, please. Okay, one more. No. And that's it. Come here. Okay. <laughs> And that's it. Uh, this is uh, this was a Snow Bros. I hope you guys liked it. It's a pretty fun game. Well, at least in my opinion, it's a pretty fun game. <laughs> something something you could uh, you could pick a wild party or something. You you just pick this game and play it around, and that's it. Two girls, one snowball, actually, yeah. So, anyway, thank you guys uh, for watching, thank you for organizing this marathon, because arcade games deserve to have some love, so...